Hello and welcome to this online tutorial. In this video I aim to help identify and differentiate between the four species of snowdrops that are most commonly grown and likely to be found naturalised within the British Isles. Snowdrops are native to most of Europe. In Britain they are introduced but could possibly be native to parts of Wales or the West Country. According to some authorities, snowdrops are from the Liliaceae or lily family but belong in the subfamily of Amaryllidoideae. To other authorities, it is purely in the Amaryllidaceae or Amaryllis family. To start identifying snowdrops, there are four key points that need to be observed. The colour of the leaves, the width of the leaf, the base of the leaf and the markings on the petals. Technically, the snowdrop has tepals rather than petals, but for the sake of this video, I will refer to them as petals. The first thing to do is to look at the colour of the leaves. The usual colour is greyish blue green. If you find a snowdrop with bright grass green leaves, then it is very likely to be Galanthus warrenovii, but it is far less common. Once the colour has been noted, then the width of the leaf needs to be observed. As a rough guide, if it is less than the little fingernail, then it is Galanthus nivalis, the common snowdrop. If it is broader, then it is all the rest. Hybrids tend to be intermediate. If we look at the common snowdrop, Galanthus nivalis, apart from noting the narrower leaves, we can see that it only has one apical patch, the green V marking on the inner petal's apex or mouth. These marks can vary and can be an indicator of cultivars and hybrids, of which there are many. Two distinctive cultivars are Galanthus magnet with its clear V mark and very long pedicel or flower stalk, and the other Galanthus atkinsii with its broad U mark and droopy outer petals. However, more common than these is the double flowered snowdrop or Floripleno. This is where the stamens have been converted into petal-like structures. This gives the snowdrop the appearance of a Victorian lampshade and makes it quite identifiable from a distance. Going back to the leaf width, if it is broader than a little fingernail, then we need to look at the leaf base. Most species have two leaves from each bulb that are flat and facing each other but hands held together in prayer. This is called aplanate. Galanthus nivalis has aplanate leaves. If you find a snowdrop with broad grey-green leaves that are also aplanate, then it is likely to be Galanthus plicatus, the pleated snowdrop. There are two subspecies of the pleated snowdrop. Pictured here is the subspecies plicatus. It is recognised by the green mark at the apex only, while subspecies Byzantinus is recognised by a green mark both at the apex and the base. Galanthus elwesii and its hybrids have an outer leaf that wraps around and embraces the interior leaf. This is called supervolute or convolute. Notice also that elwesii has these hooded tips to its leaves. This kind of reminds me of cobras. Elwesii tends to have an X-shaped marking on its inner petals, but can also have two separate markings. If you find it with a single mark on its apex, then this is characteristic of the variety Monosticus. Hybrids between Galanthus nivalis, Elwesii and Placatus are quite frequent and tend to be intermediate in leaf size and shape and in the degree of the leaf wraparound. Many of the garden cultivars are of hybrid origin and are difficult, if not impossible, to name with any degree of certainty. But do not let this put you off. Most of what you will find, especially in the wild, will be what we have covered here. So, to quickly recap, narrow grey-green leaves but hands held together in prayer is Galanthus nivalis. Wide grey-green leaves but hands held together in prayer is Galanthus plicatus. Leaves, again held together in prayer, but bright grass green in colour, is Galanthus warrenovii. And with leaves that are wrapped around each other with hooded tips are Galanthus elwesii. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful in some way. 
I will leave you with some named snowdrop cultivars.